Mighty is arguably one of the most requested characters to make a comeback to the series. Sega teased his comeback in the form of an incorrectly dated poster. Now, although Ray was last seen in 1993, Mighty's last appearance was actually in Knuckles Chaotix, released 95, not 93. Bearing a striking similarity to Sonic, although not as striking as Shadow, Mighty has only made an appearance in two games, both now difficult to get hold of. The first was Sega Sonic Arcade, that also featured Ray the Flying Squirrel. Sega Sonic Arcade was only released in Japan as an arcade game, so like me, I doubt you've had the pleasure of making its acquaintance. This was the end of the road for Ray, but not for Mighty the Armadillo. He returned in Knuckles Chaotix as part of the crew and played in a very similar way to Sonic. In fact, his close similarities could be a reason why Sega decided not to bring him back. Mighty's character was not explored in either games, so judging by them alone it would be very difficult to gauge what kind of personality traits he actually exhibits, although it's pretty clear he has an enormous strength. To be fair though, this is more of a skill than a distinction of character. Outside of the games, Archie Comics have given him, Ray, Bark, Bean and Knack all very different and very clear personas. Personas which, I presume, have been discussed and agreed with Sega. Whose initial idea were these personalities? It remains unclear. As Mighty never actually spoke in the games, did Archie have a say in the development of his personality? I can't be sure, but it would make sense for him to match the persona that has now been built up in the Archie series. Bean is particularly interesting for his comical obsession with bombs, inappropriate remarks and underestimated level of intelligence. Bark would be easy as he literally says nothing. Ever. Nax a selfish sniper wielding menace, Ray's nervous and Mighty... Mighty's a little, um, difficult to put my finger on. As an avid reader of the comics, his personality appears relatively calm and easy going for the best part and there's not really much else that defines him, despite his background relating to his sister. Knuckles Chaotix is a game that I have a lot of nostalgia attached to, so despite its mixed to negative reviews, I very much enjoyed the game and liked the characters, even Vector. Although I can't say much for the sorry excuse of Heavy and Bomb, who even give Big the Cat a run for his money. The Chaotix Detective didn't make another appearance until Sonic Heroes. At the time it could be argued that Mighty was cut because Heroes consisted of teams of three, but he was never to return. There are many characters within the franchise that have never come back, but Mighty is probably the most requested. In my opinion, it would make a lot of business sense to see him again. People would pay a lot of red rings to unlock him in Sonic Dash, or just to have him join the Olympic Games. That would be awesome. So, why do I think he'll return in Sonic 16? Well, Sega wouldn't tease his character if they didn't have plans for him, and the most likely time for him to make a return would be during an anniversary game, when all the elements of Sonic come together and are celebrated. I believe Mighty will be making a return very soon. In 2001, Shamu seemingly went down with the Dreamcast and was just as fondly remembered, but for many, the hope remained. A year later, in 2002, an Xbox version of the second Shamu game was released in North America, 2003 in Europe. With rumours and suggestions from Xbox officials themselves that the future of Shamu would be of Microsoft, although nothing was ever officially announced. However, due to underwhelmingly poor sales, nothing of the such ever happened. And then, there was this.